Good morning. Hello there and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. This is Justin Mott and now it's time for your local and area news. Top news story this morning, the trial for Raymond Fleming Jr. was held on February the 21st at the 273rd Judicial District Court of Shelby County. Raymond Fleming Jr. was convicted of two counts of forgery, one count of forgery against the elderly and one count of fraudulent use or possession of identifying information against the elderly. Shelby County District Attorney Stephen Shires presented the state's case on punishment. The matter was then adjourned. The trial will finish up on February the 28th at 9 a.m. when the defense will present its case, followed by closing arguments. And in Shelby County basketball, the Dragons defeated Cushing 98-69. to Congratulations to the Shelbyville Dragons. They're on their way to the regional tournament. They're going to take on Love Lady this Friday evening at 8 p.m. in Bryan, Texas. Denaha defeated Woden. Close game, 56-53. to That advances the Tigers to their sixth straight regional tournament. They'll play Friday night at Bryan High School at 6 p.m. versus Grapeland. The final will be played on Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. And I got to meet with the Tigers coach earlier this week, and he told me that the drive to coach has always been with him since an early age. Man, I've wanted to coach my entire life. You know, I can remember at an early age, at like uh, third or fourth grade, you know, uh, you know, that career day type stuff, you know, they would talk to you back then. And I knew, I always knew I wanted to be a coach. But, you know, my dad played basketball at Texas A&M, played at Kilgore, then he went on and played at Texas A&M. And, uh, at a young age, he started taking us, uh, you know, as a family to the state tournament. You know, I absolutely fell in love with the game. I can remember, you know, many, many times us sitting around the TV. You know, back back then it was on Sunday. The Lakers and, uh, and Boston would come on. It wasn't like it was now. It would be the only time you could get a game, and our whole family would be watching it. So um, my dad didn't coach. He drove a – Drove a train for 33 years, but, you know, he, he instilled a love and, uh, you know, a passion for, for sports. And it was just weird, man. I, I actually, I knew at a very young age what I wanted to do. So um, I just kind of got that bug then. You know, I was always drawn to, to our coaches in the school, was always drawn to people who coached. And, um, you know, I think some people, that they, they just find out in, the, in their profession that, you know, at an early age and the passion that they have for, you know, whatever it is, you know, some people are preachers or teachers or truck drivers or, you know, whatever it, whatever it may be, it could be a mechanic. And, you know, I developed, uh, you know, a passion for, for sports at a very early age. And, you know, I knew I wanted to coach for sure. And in your arrest report from Shelby County, Brandon Barnes, prohibited weapon, possession of drug paraphernalia, public intoxication, Dewan Sanders, 31 of center, possession of marijuana, no new arrest reported from St. Augustine County. And in your obituaries, Charles Edward Colleen, 63 of center, passed away on February the 23rd in center. Graveside services will take place at 2 p.m. on Thursday, February the 28th at the McClellan Cemetery in center with Brother Chris Collins officiating. Charles is survived by his sister, Selma Bush, niece, Cheryl Call, and husband, Ralph, and a host of other family and friends. For more obituaries, visit our website at cbc-radio.com. That's cbc-radio.com. With your local and area news this morning, this has been Justin Mott encouraging you to go out and be amazing. cbc-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.